Back in the late 80s, I was hiking up around Hurricane Creek, which is north of Fort Douglas. Um, I'd had my backpack loaded up with some gear. I'd planned on staying up there a couple of days. So I hike up Hurricane Creek. That creek leads into another creek. That creek leads into another creek and so on and so forth until I ended up around Deer. And I'd always thought that if Piney was ever really, really high, that those creeks would be awesome to float. So about five years later, early 90s, we had had quite a bit of rain for about two weeks straight. And Piney was rolling. To the point to where more outdoor wasn't renting out canoes. So I talked a buddy of mine into going up there floating down and having my mom and dad take us up there and drop us off and wait on us at the bottom of the creek. They were going to wait on us at the one lane bridge in Fort Douglas. So since more outdoor wasn't renting out canoes, I had an old aluminum canoe that we cleaned up, fixed up, all that good stuff. And I knew that that aluminum canoe, if we wiped out, I was going to end up losing it. It was going to sink to the bottom of the creek. So I got about a 10-foot rope, and I tied it onto the back of the canoe, and I cut up some pool noodles, and I put them on that rope, and then tied a big knot in that rope. And my thinking behind this was, when we wipe out and the canoe goes down, those pool noodles will float with that rope. We can find the canoe, pull it out dump the water and keep on going. So, mom and dad take us up there. My mom's telling me that I'm stupid. This is crazy. I'm going to die. She's upset about it. She's not happy with this situation at all, like mothers should be. So, I assure her everything's going to be just fine. We get on in the creek. We start paddling away. Best canoe trip. We're in these awesome rapids. We're hollering and yelling and high-fiving each other with the paddles and just beautiful day. Um, this was about three or four days after all the rain had quit, so the creeks weren't nasty at all. They had cleared up. So beautiful day. The water was crystal clear. Well, we're in that first creek. That first creek turns into another creek, so forth, so on, until we finally get into Hurricane Creek. And like I said, once we got into Hurricane Creek, we were going to float it down to the one lane bridge where my mom and dad were going to pick us up. Well, we get about halfway down Hurricane Creek, and the water had washed out this humongous oak tree. The tree didn't fall towards the creek. It fell away from the creek. So the water was hitting the root system of this oak tree, took a sharp left, and then continued on down the creek. Well, by the time we get up on it and realize the situation, it's already too late. We're slammed into those roots. So we're sitting there kind of holding steady on those roots. We had taken on some water already from some previous rapids, so the canoe's sitting pretty low. My buddy jumps out of the canoe onto this huge root. Well, when he does, it pushes the canoe down just enough to where it goes underneath that root. That root comes to me, it centers me up in the chest, and now I'm holding on to that root with the canoe underneath me bouncing around. So he gets situated, he's going to come back around, he's going to get me, we're going to get out, we're going to get the canoe, go around all this and keep going. Well, while he's getting situated to come try to get me, the canoe breaks free again and goes down a little further. Well, now this time... It's no longer underneath me. It's at the end of my feet. So now I'm just floating in water, holding onto this stump with my feet straight out. Well, the rope that I had tied onto the back of that canoe now is wrapping around my left ankle to the point to where the rope is tight and I'm just holding onto that root. He's trying to pull me out, but I just can't go anywhere because I'm attached to the canoe and the rope. So he's going to come around. I'm going to go under and we're going to try to get me out that way. That way there'll be a little slack in the rope. So as he's coming around in, on the other side of that route, the canoe breaks free again and goes down even more. Well now it takes me down with it. So now I'm completely submerged underwater 
uh, I can't even reach the top of the water. He gets situated to where he's kind of hanging on that root with his legs and his feet, and he's down in the water trying to reach me. I'm up there trying to reach them. What seemed like forever we're trying to reach each other, and luckily right before I went down, I took a big, huge breath. So I'm down there. We're thrashing around. We're trying to reach each other, and like I said, it seemed like forever. And then the strangest thing came over me, the, this feeling of <sighs> euphoria, I guess. It just, it was almost like everything was in slow motion. Like time just stood still for, for that brief moment. But during that time, I could see him up there panicking and thrashing to try to get to me. I couldn't hear a word he was saying. I could see the water coming over me and the bubbles coming off the roots and stuff, but I couldn't hear any of it. I, it was just so peaceful and so quiet down there. And I started to think that uh, what my mom had said, that, that I was going to die and that, that I was going to get killed. And then I started to think how I put my buddy in this situation and that, that we're here because of me. And now all this is my fault. And I just felt so bad. And I remember looking up at him and, and just the fear in his eyes trying to get to me uh, is something that I will never forget. So I'm still on my last breath and, I'm, and I remember thinking, Mom's wrong. I'm not going to die today. I'm going to continue living and I'm going to get out of this situation. I'm going to get out of this hole that I'm in and me and my buddy are going to finish this trip. He's not going to see me die today and nobody's going to have a funeral for me anytime soon. So I begin to thrash and pull and I'm doing everything I can to reach for him and I'm starting to panic. I'm starting to take some water on. So I'm at the point now to where I'm no longer on my last breath. I'm out of breath. Now I'm full of water. And I'm starting to black out. The canoe breaks free. And when it does, it takes me with it underneath all those roots. And I just remember coming up on the other side of those roots and just... <sighs> the biggest breath of air I've ever inhaled in my entire life. And of course it took me down a few more times and I would come up and catch my breath a few more times, but the roots had cut me all up. I tore my clothes. I'd lost my shoes. Um, but we got the canoe situated. We got over to the side of the bank. Uh, my buddy is a hundred percent freaking out. He just wants to walk the rest of the way, but there's just no way to get out from where we're at. So we kind of recompose ourselves. We dump the water out of the canoe. His paddle's completely gone. My paddle's broken in half. Luckily, we've got the good end of the paddle. So we kind of grind it down on some rocks and smoothing out the part that's broke. And we get back in and we're going back down the creek. And we're still not in a good situation. The creek's getting pretty bad. The canoe starting to take on water. We'd gotten sideways down some rapids. I just can't control us with this little bitty paddle. We end up centering up a rock sideways, and it completely folds the canoe in half. We're literally sitting right next to each other. We jump out. We swim to shore. And at this point, we have no other choice but to hike out. So I'm barefooted, he's barefooted, we're missing half of our clothes, we're ripped up, cut up. We go to hiking on out. At this point, we're about two hours late from our meeting point with my parents. They're absolutely freaking out. Then they see one of my shoes float down. Then they see a paddle float down. So they're on the phone trying to get everybody in there to start trying to rescue us. Then we kind of show up out of the woods, and uh, everything turned out all right in that situation. I, I got very fortunate that, uh, that I was able to walk away from that. But, you know, it taught me a valuable lesson. 
And I just want to pass that lesson on to anybody out there today that maybe things aren't going your way right now. And maybe life's a little bit tough for you. And maybe you're on your last breath. But you just got to hold on. Because that hole you're in and that last breath that you're about to take, there's somebody out there that's going to grab you by your ankle and they're going to pull you out of that hole. So you just got to keep fighting and you got to keep hanging on and you got to keep digging. That's it, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.